everyone or welcome back to my book channel my name is lauren from lady lauren explorer and today i'm going to be talking about a book that i'm now realizing that i definitely should start reading the books or at least like read 20 percent of the book before i buy the se of because this will happen to me let's talk about puck secret by g n wright this is Fit Teach Rachel's special edition of it, which is like super cute because mainly like as you can tell this is text and that's actually how our two main characters start off the relationship, but it's very, very cute. And this almost reminds me of the contempt cover. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but yeah. So this is a hockey romance, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> because of Puck. But this is a mayor's daughter and a hockey player romance and a almost like pen pal relationship. Because in real life, they both don't like each other. They both go to the same college because of a drunken, mistaken number that's how I put it they get introduced anonymously so they start a like nice banter with each other and it's very flirty it's very funny it's high heat sometimes but again they don't know they're talking to each other in the text messages then you have them in person because of how our hero perceives our heroine as a bratty princess because she is the mayor's daughter so she has to have like bodyguards and that kind of stuff he calls her a princess and thinks she's like stuck up and all that kind of stuff so in person they're just like enemies to lovers because this is an enemies to lovers book this does have cheating in it because our heroine does have a boyfriend when she begins this relationship through text message with our hero even though she doesn't know it's him and in real life with our hero because of what happens in the plot but her boyfriend also is cheating on her like in the first couple of pages you see her find will follow her boyfriend while he's going to go cheat on her and she's known he's going to go cheat on her but because of something her father has asked of her, will mainly threaten her and blackmail her into doing, I wouldn't call it blackmail, coerce her into doing, she has to stick with her boyfriend. And this is why I gave this book a three. I'm, it's just not the plot that I like. So, <laughs> I don't understand why if you love someone and someone tells you hey not even like love like I can understand this oh my gosh I don't want to you know what I'm just gonna say it if you don't want any spoilers don't <laughs> come past this like this is just like, not for you but I will say if you do like a oh there's a prince <laughs> if you do like a um pen pal high heat text message and enemies to lovers romance you might like this um, not for me but you might like this <laughs> now let me get into why i did not like this book so i understand at first when her father tells her that she is going to marry her boyfriend even though she does not want to marry her boyfriend because it will look better for business wise her boyfriend's dad will be joining businesses with her dad to make them all richer i understand that when he says hey if you don't do this i will cut you off you won't go i won't pay for college i won't pay for anything so i understand that aspect of it but once she starts gaining feelings for our hero in real life and still goes through with like still sh going through with this marriage i don't understand 
that aspect of it because if you love someone you will be trying to find ways to break up this um business deal whether it be finding out secrets about the family that will make it look bad on her family to marry into their family like i just i understand why she just left it she didn't try to do anything that's like that's not a strong fmc for me because you we're going to go through this even though you love someone else and you didn't even tell him like why you were going to go through with this like he thought you were just playing him like what i would have been told <laughs> the person i was falling in love with like hey this, if you keep seeing me with my boyfriend and you know me and you are in a relationship we, we want to be in a relationship then i would tell you like hey my fa my father is saying this I need to do this i don't want to do this do you think me and you can find a way to get not have me do this but no she doesn't do that she just still goes through it and she has someone else who learns about what happens which is her brother and he then goes and saves her she didn't save herself i don't like that like come on if you really love someone like that and you know you know that he's cheating on you i would have i would have filmed him cheating on me and then posted it anonymously on like the internet so then like why would you be married to a cheater like i don't understand why she didn't do this she didn't think like i she's not strong that, that's that's a weak minded to me i don't understand i understand doormats i understand that i don't understand how you can say claim it to be a very strong fmc and you are still gonna go through this go through it go through it go through it lose him have him think that you it was just i not me not me and this is why i did not like the book <laughs> like if i just i was like no no turn around go go back to don't go pasco go back to, go to joe i'm just saying so that's why I gave it this book a three. I finished it and I did enjoy some of the plot, but the main plot, no, not for me, but it might be for you. So off my rant now, because that got me. And I, if I had read it in KU first before buying the special edition, I probably would have never bought special edition. Yes. <laughs> But my name is Lauren. I post a video Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes Sundays. So please subscribe so you can get notified when I have uploaded a video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Bye! <laughs>